All right, guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie Ward, and welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. I hope you've all had a fantastic day. And before we get into this transfer video, guys, the support on yesterday's video was absolutely unbelievable. 15,000 views already, which is insane. Over 500 likes. I guess you guys like the transfer videos. If you do want to see more of these, be sure to smash that like button right now. Try and smash 100 likes, maybe even 200. I don't even know. Subscribe if you're new as well. There's over 200 new faces here because that's how many I gained last night. It's, it's crazy scenes, guys. I, I appreciate it so much. So subscribe if you're new. Also, comment today. Yesterday it was where you're from. Today's who is your favorite current Leeds United player? Leave it in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to read all of them. I got so many comments yesterday. And let's just do it again. There's a lot of transfer news we need to get talked to today. Yesterday was about um, Aronson today. There's, there's, there's some different faces today. I'll, I'll start off with um, Leeds interested slash want James Garner. Um, this is the Manchester United midfielder or as he's been out this season with Nottingham Forest. Uh, this is confirmed from Phil Hay in his latest podcast through the Yorkshire Evening Post. He's um, The player has been mentioned to Phil uh, he's a player they like, and if Forrest don't go up, Man United will want to loan him out again. He might go back to Forrest. Also, if they go up, Forrest might go in for him. Do you know what I mean? He's been so important to them this season. And when I've watched uh, Nottingham Forrest this season, James Garner has been a very physical, passionate, you know, he, he runs a lot, he dictates the midfield. He reminds me of a younger, better Adam Forshaw. Some people will say that's an insult to the fella. But I think that's a compliment. Um, but yeah, James Garner, Leeds like him. The board like him, Marsh likes him. The only thing is, it's that, what, what are Forrest going to do? Will they stay up or, no, will they go up or will they go down? Will they want to get him back in? Will Manchester United want to loan him out again? I have read that Manchester United do want to loan him out, whatever happens, but it's just, he might be Forrest's favourites if that is the case. But you never know. I mean, it's good to see that Leeds United are looking at players and they want players. And this is to do, this is quite a recent one as well. It's not one we wanted in January. Uh, it's one that they've looked at pretty much over the last couple of weeks and thought, yeah, I think he'd be good on our side, especially how Marsh sets up and how we're maybe going to set up with two centre mids next year or maybe just the one. Who knows? And you never know if Calvin goes or whatever happens. I don't know if he can necessarily fill his spot, but he's, he's a decent little player and maybe it will just be a loan. I don't know if we'll go in for the, actually signing him, but all I know is Leeds United want him or are interested in him. Um, so that could be decent. You know what? I think I'll talk more about it if it actually goes through. But, you know, you never know. OK, you never know with these type of players. But I don't know. I, I, I like him. Every time I've watched him, he's done well. He's, he's a bit hot headed, which I like. Um, not hot headed in the sense that he was going to get red cards each game, but gets into a tackle. Kind of the leads way. So I definitely think he'd be a good fit and definitely someone we should keep our eye out on. Uh, next bit of news is Cody Drama. Uh, is staying at Leeds United. He was Cardiff's player of the season. Uh, obviously, we loaned him out. He had a bit of a falling out with Bielsa. And uh, I actually personally thought that he would never want to come back to the club again. He unfollowed the club on social media. It was all a bit up in the air. But um, he spoke with Marsh, and it looks like he's, he, what his intentions are that he wants to play first-team football. And Marsh is, is letting him do that, especially as Dallas uh, is out for six months and Ayling will be out between like two and four months, I believe. Uh, Luke Allen will be out for. So it's time for Cody to step up. Every time I've watched him, I mean, when I've watched him for the under-23s, I thought, wow. I thought in the championship, wow. Every time he's kind of featured in the first team, I thought he does look young. If you understand what I mean, he looks phys physically not there. But you know what? He's got the summer to build on that. And I would like to see Cody start. I, I don't, if Marsh wants it, that's, that's what we should go for. And and that's good because he's got Ailing and like Dallas and some experienced heads that can keep him grounded and keep him um, hopefully a good player. Do you know what? Keep him around here. And I, I mean, that's positive. I mean, that's a great bit of news that he doesn't want to go and that he wants to start for, for Leeds United, which is fantastic because you never know if we go down, he might have wanted to leave and, and, and things like that. So Cody Drum wants to stay at Leeds United or is staying at Leeds United. And he's challenging for that first team right back spot, which is fantastic. Trust in the youth as Gandhi once said. Did he? I don't know. We're now going to talk about Tyler Adams. I spoke about him yesterday, uh, the American central defensive midfielder. Two leads. Is it going to happen? Clubs are looking um, uh, to sign Calvin Phillips, but if he decides to go, uh, Adams is a player Marsh likes. So, basically, Fabrizio Romano confirmed this on his podcast. He said, they said, well, what's your thoughts? Tyler Adams to Leeds, is that going to happen? And he went say, it makes sense. Marsh likes him. Marsh knows him. 
it would make sense to go for this American represent representation that Leeds are going for. And uh, this is mainly to do if Phillips leaves. And I don't know if Phillips will leave. I think the main priority is to get Phillips to stay and then you work on it from there, what you want to do with your midfielder spot. Uh, but this one looks like if Phillips goes, Adams will be a good replacement for him. He's he's a youngster. He's not too young. I think he's around 22, 23 years old. American, Marsh likes him. But Fabrizio Romano confirms that it will kind of just uh, decide on what's happening on Calvin Phillips. Obviously, they want to give him a contract. I think they have given him a contract. Um, it's just up to Phillips now. Hopefully, he wants to stay. I mean, that would be the perfect story. When, if Calvin Phillips stays... That, that's what we all want. But Adams would be a good replacement, but we've got to play that one by ear. I said that yesterday as well. There wasn't too much ground, but Fabrizio Romano has said that there is, there's links there, but there's not, nothing's necessarily happening. There's been no uh, links between clubs. No, nothing has, nothing's happened basically. But that could, that could uh, be a possible um, transfer if Phillips does decide to leave Leeds United. Next up, we've got Newcastle getting ready to bid for Jack Harrison. Yesterday, I spoke about Tottenham and Newcastle both being in for Jack Harrison. People are saying, why? Why would he leave? Guys, money talks. It's the modern day. Leeds want to keep hold of him, but like I put down here, money talks. Uh, we could take we could take the piss here. Newcastle have got loads of money. We could just go, yeah, give us 40, 50 million for him. Um, and we could do that. And the thing is, Jack Harrison is a fantastic player. Got 10 goals in all competitions this season. But I personally think he's a player we can replace. I like Harrison. I, if he was here next season, I'd want him to start. There's nothing against him. But if we could get if we do get rid of Harrison Phillips, Rafinha, there's a lot of money there to spend. And you know what? Especially the, the asking price of Barcelona, Newcastle. Depends where Calvin goes. Man City are looking at him. So there's they're big teams there to spend big money. So you, you, you never know. But yeah, it looks like they are going to line up a bid if Leeds reject it or not. That's a certain other case. But people thought I was making up this thing that Newcastle won him. I'm not. Well, if it is made up, then I'm just reporting something. Do you know what I mean? But it looks like they are le uh, ready to line up a bid. I don't know when that will be for. But I think Leeds should not... not No, they should play hardball. They should with um, Harrison and Rafinha. They just say, well, they're, they're important players to us. We want this, this. If, if they really want to step up, we'll see how much guts they've got. So I'd say 40 million for Harrison and give us 70 million for Rafinha. Easy. Uh, next up, bit of news. Calvin got called up for England. James also got called up for Wales. And Coops got called up for Scotland. That was just a bit on the side. But the England call-up came out today. Calvin Phillips. I'm quite surprised to see Calvin Phillips in the England squad, if I'm completely honest, after, you know, he's been injured for the last five months. And he's just come back in. But you do know he's Southgate's man. And he will be playing in the next three friendly fixtures uh, for England. So, yeah, happy for Calvin. Thought I'd just get that news in. Uh Last couple of bits of news. Aronson, uh, Brendan Aronson, obviously we spoke about him in a lot of detail yesterday. He, uh, all the transfers going smoothly and medical will be the next thing as all is confirmed from both parties and the player himself. So I don't know when it's going to be, but that looks like the medical will be the next step. There's nothing really stopping. They've both agreed around £22 million to go and leading up to £25 million pounds or 30 million euros is the the right amount of money for Aronson. And Aronson wants to join. His girlfriend's following us on Instagram. It's all looking all but good, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so yeah, not too much news to say about that, but it's all going smoothly as it stands. But this is Leeds United, so anything can happen. Uh, and the last bit of news is Dubok, uh, Kenner have left. Uh, Dubok and Kenner. Uh, Kenner, a youngster in the under-23 central defensive. No, he's not. Centre back. And he's gone to Hibs out in Scotland. So good luck to him. He's been at the club for eight years. Good luck to him. It was a bit of a surprise because I thought every time he's featured or every time he's been in and around the first team or when I watched him for the under-23s, I thought he was a fantastic player. But there we are. He wants to get first-team football and that's where he will be getting it over at Hibs. And I who's their manager there? There's some I can't remember who Hibs' manager is. Someone let me know in the comments. I saw a picture of him and I was like, oh, I know him. Um, and also Lawrence de Bock has left. He left on a free transfer, I believe, yesterday. I just forgot to report it, but good. I mean, that was a waste of three million. We should have never signed him anyway. But there we are. He's off the cards. He's off the wage bill. Happy days. And Costa is returning to Leeds United. Valencia do not want to sign him. I think it was a loan to buy option and they do not want to sign him. Uh, the Portuguese man uh, played 27 games for Valencia. Uh, over his time there, and he's only got two assists. Zero goals to his name and only two assists. Guys, what are you doing with Costa? Are you getting rid of him, or do you think he should be here? I think the likes of Kiko, 
Costa should just go. Do you know what I mean? They, they need to go. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to smash that like button. Let's try and smash 100 likes. Subscribe if you are new. We're getting close to 6,000 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. And also, um, who's your favorite Legion United player currently? Who is it? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't know what my accent's doing. But yeah, guys, I've rambled on a bit too much today. Hope you guys are enjoying these transfer videos. If you are, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I've been Ollie Ward. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheery.